Hello, Mr. Barton here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at what diagnostic questions looks like from a student's perspective. And in particular, what it looks like when they try to answer a quiz that you've assigned them. Now, in previous videos, we've looked at how you as a teacher can assign a quiz to your students. And this is essentially the result that it looks like from their point of view. So when a student logs on, immediately they are faced with their dashboard. Now, depending on how much uh, stuff they've done previously on diagnostic questions will determine just how much information is displayed here. So they may have a load of results stacked up and we'll look at that in a, in a forthcoming video. They may have, may have earned a load of badges and reputation points and so on. But crucially, this will be the most important thing. This is the page where it will show them all the assignments that they've been set and when they're due. So I can see this one um, has been set to me. GCSE Maths Takeaway 94 due on the 6th of December. Right, flipping heck time of recording 29th of November I best get cracking so students just need to click start and that's going to take them to the quiz page now the important thing to note here is that they they can answer this quiz on their mobile phone on their tablet on any internet connected device and also now via our student app I and mean, please encourage them to download that there because it just makes the answering process a lot easier so uh, when they uh, are on the quiz they get the option to, to click start just pressing that little arrow button and then off they go, right, flipping heck, I'm faced with a tricky old quiz here on fractional negative indices. So let's um, let's imagine that I am I'm thinking to myself, right, I know that's minus is something to do with flipping something over, but I get myself a little bit muddled up. Now, the important thing here with diagnostic questions, um, as hopefully you know from the pedagogy section, is there's one right answer and three wrong answers. Um, and each of the wrong answers has been chosen to reveal a specific misconception. So um, I'm going to click D. Now, when I click D, it's going to prompt me to place an explanation in. Now, your students don't need to do that. They can either say I'm just taking a guess or they can close that down and move on to the next question. But wherever possible, I really like to encourage my students to provide explanations because it gives me a real um, insight into their way of thinking. So I'm going to put uh, here, I flip it over and it stays negative. Now that, as from the teacher of this student, is going to give them a real insight into exactly where their misconception comes from. And then when they're ready, they click right. Now I won't do this for every single one. Uh, let's imagine this one here, 64 to the power of a half, or surely that just means I halve 64. So I'm going to go for C32, and I'll just write an explanation here. Half of 64 is 32 and I'm flying okay moving on to the next one uh, okay let's pretend I get this one right so let's go for square <laughs> this will be embarrassing now square root of 9 is 3 3 to the power 3 is 27 I'm not going to put an explanation there I'm just going to um, click right there what does this equal and um, let's pretend that um, I'm all right at this one as well 5 to the power of minus 2 so I think that's going to be a there and again I'll, I'll tell the teacher I'm just guessing there just so you can see what that looks like and then click right for the next one. And then the final one, uh, what does this, oh, flipping out, what does this particular one equal? I'll just take a guess on this one and I'll go for C and I'll tell the teacher I'm just guessing. And then when I click right, then I get presented with my results. And I'm gonna leave this video there because that's how students answer quizzes. But in the next video, please stick around for that. I'm gonna show you how they can then review their answers and hopefully learn from their mistakes.